Should children be allowed to transition their gender? Oh, man, that's a good one. That's a good one, man. Okay, so look, we got another video from James Clung. Before we get into the video, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you are new. You know, actually do it if you're not new, okay? Like, like. Just turn the post on, like, I mean, why not? It's free, my boy, you feel me? Follow your boy on IG, also, florida.may underscore, and also in the link description box below and in the comment section, there is my uh, second channel for the podcast. Go ahead and check it out. It's lit over there. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. How young do you think? Whatever age. Like 10? Even younger. They want. The parenting phase is kind of over. You're just a facilitator at that point, you know? If they say that that's who they are, you kind of have to let them take the lead. What's going on everyone? James Klug here. Today we're in Los Angeles, California, and we're gonna see if people think that children should be allowed to transition their gender through gender reassignment surgeries and treatments before the age of 18 in the United States. Let's go talk to some people. Should kids under the age of 18 be allowed to transition their gender through surgical procedures like breast removal, genitalia, etc.? What do you think? That's a tough one. I mean, it just kind of depends on the situation, I guess. Do you think that children under the age of 18 should be allowed to start transitioning their gender through surgical procedures and treatments, hormone blockers, etc.? What do you think? Yes. Gender reassignment surgeries? Yes. Yes, most definitely. And what do you guys think? I don't think so, man. You know, that's bad. I mean, it's whatever. Whatever the person want to do, man. It's their body, man. I don't, I don't care. Absolutely. No. I don't agree with it either. Very difficult question. Uh, Why is it difficult? Yeah, it, it just it is difficult. I'll skip on that one. No, I don't think I don't think that's right. I think that children should have the capability to understand what's out there in life. Like they see all the stuff that's going on on television nowadays, and they think that, that it's okay, but that's not the right way to go. The parents are with it, and they've gone through all the right steps. I, I'm nothing against it. So any of you guys disagree with? I'm gonna say this. Truth be told, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this is how I look at it. When it comes to changing gender, I am totally against it. You know, by being a God-fearing man, I'm totally against that. I don't believe that anybody should change the way that God has created them. I don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe that it is a purpose in the plan behind the way that you was created. You was created for a reason because there is a purpose in the plan behind who you really are. Now, if a per if a children if a child came up to me like if my if I had a kid. OK, and they came up to me at 14. Now, they're they're about a freshman, a freshman in high school. You know, what I said they're still, you know, what I'm saying they're still under my roof. They still under, you know, I make the decisions around here. OK, but I feel like once you get out of my house and once you on your own, hey, make whatever decision you want to make. All I know is that I did my job as a parent. I planted the seed of the gospel inside of you. I told you about God. I told you about homosexual. I told you about all that. So if you want to go out and live on your own and change your gender, go do it. But in my house, you would not be changing your gender because I'm not going to have my son walking around my house in panties, a bra, a dress, a skirt. I'm a, no, I'm not doing it. That just, that's my house. So that's when I get older and have my house. You know what I'm saying? That's just how my parents look at it too. They feel like if I want, if I was to tell my parents that, okay, I want to change my gender, they're going to tell me, okay, you can do that on your own. You could get out of my house and do that. But in this household, as, as a Christian household, I, you know, I'm not changing my gender. You feel me? So I feel like kids, uh, I feel like under 18, it's the parent. It's honestly the parent's decision. You know what I'm saying? It's really the parent's decision. Kids don't have a choice under the age of 18, like, they still are under their parents' roof. They're still a minor. Under 18 in the state of Illinois, I know you're still a minor. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have no, you know, you don't have that choice to say, okay, I want to change my gender and I'm going to go ahead and do it. No, but once you're 18, you can get out on your own and do it. That's just how I look at the situation. With him on that, if the parents agree, do you guys think it's okay under the age of 18? What do you think? I think I could probably agree with it. Just, I was still... You know, a lot of people are going to have different perspectives. That's just how life is. People have different perspectives on what they see it as. So, And why do you think yes? Because I think they know. And the earlier that they know and that they can allow their bodies to accommodate that, in whether it's postponing puberty to allow for it, whatever, then the healthier it is for their physical and mental well-being. So why yes? Just because a lot of them don't want to transition because of the same reason because other people think it, they shouldn't do it but i think they should it's their body their choice yeah why not adults should support you and help you out in that you know what i mean and guide guide you through that based on their life experience that's not you know bigoted why do we not agree with that 
too, you're too young to um, you're too young to, to 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 know to make up your own mind really there's, there's, you know you're influenced by peers and uh, you're not mature enough to make a decision that can be irreversible often do you agree with him on that I fully agree with what he says personally I don't feel like children should change their gender at all personally there's a lot of things that kids Facts. I, I don't feel like nobody changed their gender. You know what I'm saying? I, I Truth be told, I mean, what's the point of really changing your gender? Like, because there's a lot of people that change their gender, then they regret it instantly because they're like, dang, I just changed to a female. I mean, it's like, it's really, I feel like there's no point in changing your gender. Gender. You can say, oh, well, they know, they know. Man, look, they was born the way they was for a reason. All right? God it, God doesn't make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And half of these children, like like the older couple said, half of these children are only get fluence. They're, they're literally influenced by what's on social media. I mean, social media tells you do this. Social media tells you do that. Like, social media tells you do all these type of things, and they're influenced by that, so they feel like, okay, I should be happy with who I am. I should be happy with myself. I should love myself. But if you truly love yourself, you wouldn't change your gender because you would love who you really are. Loving yourself is not changing your gender. You know what I'm saying? We have to do better. Like, I feel like that's, that's straight bull. But, I mean, everybody got their own opinion about the situation cannot do under the age of 18. They can't consent to sexual relations with an adult. They can't drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes. But but what we're saying here is they can undergo surgeries that are irreversible. I want to know, where does that fall in this list of things that children can't do? What do you guys think? It's it's a really it's a really touchy subject out here, you know. It's really touchy. That's what I'm trying to get canceled, you feel me? When it comes to these procedures, bro, just speak your mind. Who cares? Just speak your mind, man. That's it. People are afraid to speak their mind because they're scared they're going to get canceled. Just speak your mind. So many of them irreversible. Where does that fall in this list of things that children aren't allowed to do? Well, I think that's an individual base, you know, determined on an individual level, whereas some of the other social sins, shall we say, are more for keeping society safe. In my opinion, if, if like a 12, 12 or 13 year old come to me saying like, I, I'm much, I think I want to be a girl, I'll be like, man, you're not even grown up yet. You haven't lived life yet a little bit. Probably by when it comes to the 18 age, I'll be like, and once you figure it out and you live that life and say like, oh, this is what I want to do. Then so I'll... We're, we're changing our answer a little bit right here, then, yeah, right? A little bit. That's what do you guys agree with what he's saying or no? Do you still believe, you know, do you believe it should be okay if the parent is is saying okay. The kid's gone through all the right steps and you know they've talked to therapists, everything like that, everyone that they need to talk to, and they still feel that way. It's their, at the end of the day, it's their life. Where does that fall in line with where kid, with what kids are not allowed to do? Good question. I, that's a good question. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a religious guy, so I, I don't allow to my kids like, Sorry, keep going. I'm, I'm, I'm a religion guy, so I can't let my kids like change it like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's bad, you know. You know the comparison. Hey, man, my brother. Versus, you know, children under the age of 18 not able to consent to sex or not legally able to consent to sex, which I agree with that. Um, it's it's a different thing. It's yeah. a completely different thing because a child will hopefully feel comfortable enough to tell their parent, "Hey, I don't feel like a he." And the parent can say, "Okay, let's explore that. Let's talk about that. Let's let's get into it." I think you know it's it's one thing for a, for a child or a, you know a youngster to to feel that uh, that child uh, identifies with the opposite sex and and to start things that that are not irreversible to let's say cross dressing, but to then go for the kind of hormone treatments and irreversible kind of things I think what's what, what we're talking about that's wrong that's wrong because you can't reverse that I think many of those lives are ruined later on do you think that they should be allowed to per yes. pursue irreversible procedures to their bodies sure man if they want to do it go ahead see a lot of people say oh it's their life it's their life let them live their life but come on bro you're a child like you should, I feel like children shouldn't be focused on changing their sexuality. I think I feel like children should be focused on sexuality. Period, bro. Just go out, have fun. Just look. Yes, have fun, live your life. But come on, bro. You thirteen, fourteen, trying to worry about changing your gender, trying to like, bro. You you truly don't even know what you want. Okay, like truth be told, you really don't know what you want. You haven't even explored. And I'm I'm not I'm not promoting sex before marriage, but you haven't even explored a piece of coochie yet. 
before you can even say, you know what, I like men or for women. Or you know what, I think I like women. And you haven't even got a got a you feel me got the pee pee yet. Like I mean, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm being honest though. This, this is how this is how I'm looking at it. I feel like you haven't even explored that stuff yet. You shouldn't even be focused on, on changing your gender at all. Okay, you should be focused on that. Change your gender as a child, man. Live life, have fun, go outside, ride your bike. Like when I was 13, 14, I was going outside riding my bike. You feel me? I was going downtown Chicago. I was having fun. I was just living life. You know, I wasn't even focused on really changing my gender. Yes, I had curiosity, uh, curiosity but it wasn't so much for, oh, I'm going to change my gender. Like I wasn't even focused on that. I just knew I was a dude and I, ha I had a trauma happen to me as a child and I thought, okay, maybe I'm this way. But I didn't never think about, oh, you know what? I think I want to be a girl. I never thought about that. Never wanted to be a girl at all. It's important to at least entertain what your children say and listen to them and then help them and guide them through the processing that it takes to get to whatever, whatever result that means. And if it means transitioning, as you said, surgically and or hormonally, sometimes that's the right thing. Yeah. At what age would you I, be okay with that? I, I don't think anything before 13. As long as it's not under air, like 13 or 14, yeah. For you, what's the difference between 13 and like 16 well, or 15? Too young. Bro, she is mad tall. I'm sorry. That she mad tall. Like, bro, like, it's crazy to me how these women are so tall and yet I'm only five. Two, I ain't finna say my height. Just know I'm, to, compared to her, I'm probably about at her waist. Um, A little bit too young. Yeah. So you say no in general. No, that, that's just too early. They not ready. Let these kids, kids grow up and real. She a mama. She is a mama. She sound like a mama. She is a mama. I definitely, she, yep, she's a mama with one baby daddy. Maybe two. She's a mama. Definitely. That's what life is before you allow them to make self-changing changes. That's, no. With parental consent, I think that conversation can happen at any time. But without parental consent, I think that, uh, you know, current HIPAA laws kind of set the stage. I think 13 is where it's at. So you disagree with that? You think that they should be... Like, 14 and up. 14 and up. Yeah. If a child tells you, this is who I am, the parenting phase is kind of over. You're just a facilitator at that point, you know? And if they say that that's who they are, you kind of have to let them take the lead. Where does going through transitioning their gender, going through surgeries, fall in line with what kids can't do? I don't know. That's just what they want to look like. I don't know. So they just want to look like it, so we'll just we'll let them do it. Yeah, 15 and up. 15 and up. What do you think? <laughs> no. No? No. I'm talking surgical, you know, removing breasts, genitalia, yeah. start blockers, yes? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to to say. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Okay. I feel like they should be allowed to do that even before 18. How young do you think? Whatever age. Like 10? Even younger. If they want. If that's what they want. Yeah. What the? Do you think like the age of 10 would be appropriate or no? No. Why is that? Too young. Too, make, too young to make a decision. What's the minimum in your opinion? Minimum uh, 13. At 14, they more so know their sexuality, what they like, what they... But sexuality and changing gender is like two different things. I mean, sexuality, you, you know that from 13, 14. Like, you know what you want at that point. You know what I'm saying? You know like, oh, I... Like, but... Changing your gender is like you 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 look at women, you be like, man, I want to be a woman. Like that, that like sexuality is so totally different. You know how many people change their gender? Like it's a girl. She changed her gender to a dude just to be with a dude. I I never seen like I was confused. I'm like, you changed your gender from a girl to become a dude and still date dudes? What like what you thought it was gonna be a cheat code to get into heaven because you're still because you're still being straight like I'm totally confused and it's 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 another couple that I seen right the girl is a dude okay the girl is the dude but she you know she was a dude she was born as a dude changed to a woman but she's dating a woman that turned into a dude and they had no no areas removed no nothing removed. Okay, well, I don't know that. At least that's what they say. Okay, so and the the woman is a you know she's she's a uh, she's a stud, which means that she she dresses like a boy and do all the things like a boy, but she still got these, she still got that, and I'm just like, what was y'all point? I'm I'm kind of confused. So y'all straight, but y'all not straight. 
I'm 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 confused. But sexuality and gender is just totally different. You know what I'm saying? You know your sexuality. If, and if you go through life and you want to be gay, I, I'm not going to say just be gay, but I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge because once upon a time, I was curious, so I can't judge. You feel me? But I could say just find God at that time. Just find God. That's all I can say is find God, man. They don't like who they want to be at 14. I do believe that's a respectful age. If you feel like you are transgender, your parent allows it, why not? Yeah. You agree? I agree. If you feel like you want to change back, then do that. It's a little tough. That's a waste of money, though. Like, who want to do it? Like, you must got, you must be rich to do that. Like, oh, yeah, I, you know what? I want to be a girl. And then get 20 years old. You know what? I really don't like this lifestyle. I want to be a boy. That's just, like, come on, man. It's too much. To change back once you've removed your... your I mean, uh... That's right, but, um... I mean, it is what it is. That's how you feel at the time. If they want to make the choice to, like, you know, go to another gender, you know, is, 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 is that what makes them feel comfortable? Then... Okay, whatever you want to do, I take some time to think about it before you make a decision. Those are delicate years in life. And there's a lot of confusion that comes with a lot of different things, peer pressure, society, your intake of social media. Now, it'll be there when they get older. But at that point of you're still a child, you'll have some time to really think and grasp before you make that decision. You have time, you know? So the 18 years... You still are very influenced by a lot of different things in life. If you look at a 14-year-old today at 2022, then they are mature. Um, they know more of what they want. They outspoken. Um, and yeah, I do believe, you know, now today's age and time, that 14 might be a considerable age. Do you think that you we really should be don't. listening to 14-year-olds on whether or not they I should be like, uh, undergoing you, these procedures? What do you think? I feel like once you know right from wrong and once you have an understanding of how society works and stuff, you should be able to make those decisions. By 14, you know, you're, you're, still, still, you're still a child, but you can make choices for yourself, so why not? Okay. Obviously, going through, you know, gender transition surgeries, removing breasts, genitalia, that's a lot more permanent than, than you know, right. so I do uh, uh, drinking or, right. or smoking. Well, at, at but those are illegal for children. Right. So surgical age, I do believe, has to be higher than 13. Where does, you know, getting a, like surgically removing some, some parts fall 18. in line with, with... I think 18. 18? You should be grown 18. Yeah, you disagree. I mean, I don't really you disagree or you. agree. I 18, like I said, I, me personally, if you, <laughs> once you get out of my house, you make your own decisions. I just know it as a parent. I did what I had to do, but once you get out of my house, live your life, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to love you at the end of that day. But once you get out of my house, you can make your own decisions. But in my household, as a Christian household, as a God-fearing household, we would not be changing any type of gender around here. Okay? We would not be changing any type of gender at all. I just, I feel like it's not my choice to say that. Like, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good question, too. If, if they're not allowed to make that choice until they're like after 18, it will kind of make sense because like, you know, in life, you know, you don't want to make like make a decision and then years later you regret that de that decision. We've spoken with people today that have actually brought up how they'd be fine with it uh, down to the age of five or so. Um, what are your thoughts on that? It's too young. It's too young. We have children. You are a byproduct of of your family and your beliefs and what you're doing in life so a child's not just going to come with this on the top of his head there's something that's that's influenced him that has nothing to do with being gay you know that's that's not a choice that has nothing you're talking about changing their physical being in their body at a young age if you want to make exactly. that decision give it the 18 years you know to really think about it because a lot of people make decisions and regret it, you know? You do it when you're young, you know? It's like tattoos, you know? You gotta, you gotta think about it, man, because it's not going anywhere. Once you exactly. That, that, I, I see, I agree with that. Make the decision when you're old enough to make that decision. When you're young, you do dumb stuff. Honestly, like, when I got all these tattoos, in my head, I'm, you know, I'm thinking they, they, they are cool, but you see, I haven't got a new tattoo yet, okay? Because if you're, if you are OG from my channel, you know, I, I came on a video with a tattoo every week. I was addicted. I haven't got a tattoo yet. Not because, it, part of it is because it's too expensive and it's really, it was breaking the bank. But the other part was when you 
you gotta remember <laughs> i might be you know I, god willing not get to the age of 80 you know one day and this ain't gonna look good on my skin you know it ain't just it ain't gonna look good at all you know so you gotta make decisions when you're old enough to make those decisions when you're young you come on man you ain't gonna make the right decisions even 18 year olds make the wrong decisions i was 18 when i got these tattoos man <laughs> so all right man so i'm gonna go ahead and get off this video uh like i said before bro y'all let me know well y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation do y'all feel like children should be allowed to transition their gender or do you feel like they should just wait till they get out of your household you know what i'm saying and then go ahead and live their life and do what they do because they can make their own decisions at that point uh but anyways man i love each and every one of y'all uh thank you for all the support and all the love god bless stay blessed peace yeah.